Hello guys, this is What About Nintendo, and today I'm here to talk more about the Nintendo Switch Lite. In this video, I'm going to be talking about whether or not I think this system will be a sales success. So, let's get right on into it. So I've talked at length about my thoughts and opinions on the system itself and all its features and everything like that. So that's not what this video is going to be about. If you want to see a video like that, you can check it up in the eye. I've already made a video on that. This video is different. Today we're talking about whether or not I think the Switch Lite will actually succeed. If it will actually sell well, if it will do well at market. That is the purpose of this video. It's not about whether or not I like the system or whether you like the system or anything like that. It's just about on September 20th, when this launches, will it sell well? And throughout the holiday, will we see good sales for this system? That is the question I'm here to answer today. Or, well, not exactly answer, but try and put up some good logic for both sides. Firstly, I like to bring up the Nintendo Switch Revision, the $300 Switch that's going to have better battery life than the current Switch coming out next month because that does influence things a lot in my opinion. Before the Switch revision, I was saying the Switch Lite sales success was a done deal. A $200 system with better battery life and easier to carry around with its lighter, smaller form factor was a no-brainer for me. I think that it was going to sell incredibly well before the Switch revision was out. It was more of a done deal. Now things are a little more gray. With a $300 Switch revision with even better battery life than the Switch Lite, the ability to dock and the same heat and thermal improvements of the Switch Lite, well, the Switch Lite just doesn't stack up as good as it used to. It definitely takes away the appeal for anybody who might maybe ever in the future want to dock their Switch or people who want to pay extra for the superior battery life. I definitely think the Switch revision lessens the appeal of the Switch Lite and will probably affect its sales in a world where a Switch revision didn't exist. However, I definitely do think there's still a market for this system and that's what I'm going to go over now. First off, the way Nintendo is actually marketing this system, or rather, the lack thereof of Nintendo marketing this system, definitely will affect how many people buy the Switch revision over a Switch Lite. If you don't realize that there's longer battery life on a Switch revision, then you're not going to take that in consideration when looking at which one to purchase. That's just straight up facts. If you think that the Switch Lite actually has better battery life than the Switch you're going to buy, which happens to be a Switch revision, or if you can't tell the difference between a Switch revision and the normal Switch, well, you're probably going to go with the Switch Lite in that instance if you want the longer battery life or just a better portable experience. Because compared to the normal Switch, the Switch Lite does offer a better portable experience. It's just that the Switch Revision is better in some ways. I know it's not a very fair point, but this is a very realistic point and that's definitely going to happen. The second one is more of an actual demographical point and that is that this is a great system for kids. The Switch Lite is perfect for kids. The lighter, smaller form factor and more durable nature of the console would be absolutely fantastic to give to a child over the normal Switch or the Switch Revision. If I had a kid who was old enough to play games, I would definitely give them a Switch Lite over the Switch revision it's gonna last longer be easier for the kid to use and it will save me money if they happen to break the system this is definitely the 2ds of the family in that way thirdly this is a great system for those who only play in handheld mode and don't want to pay another hundred dollars for tv mode or the longer battery life as much as hardcore Nintendo fans may complain about that 4 hour battery life for Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch Lite, the average gamer probably doesn't care nearly as much. In fact, they probably don't play anywhere near that long in a single session. 30 minutes here, an hour there, 15 minutes here, and a few minutes in the bathroom is more the play style for a casual gamer. And I'm not just making this up. There is, in fact, many studies that show that the average playtime for a consumer is 7 hours. 
and not seven hours a day, seven hours a week, or about an hour per day. And in fact, that's up significantly from last year where it was only just below six hours. So it does rise and fall, but it's generally not that long per day. For them, four hours could easily last them an entire day, and if not, well, they're probably already used to plugging their smartphones in every once in a while, so grabbing their Nintendo Switch charger and finding an outlet probably isn't that hard. So for somebody who only wishes to play on the go, or somebody who is just very cheap, the Switch Lite is still a great option. And finally, this is a great system for those who want multiple Switches in a single household. Sure, you have your main Switch there that can dock on a TV so you can play your multiplayer games with all your family together. You can play Mario Kart 8 split screen 4 player, but what about when you want to play Fire Emblem? What about when you want to play Breath of the Wild? What about when multiple people want to play a single player game at the same time? Well, for that, you're just going to have to have multiple Switches. There's no way around that. And for that purpose, a cheaper 200 model is a much better better buy, especially since you're probably not going to have enough TVs for everyone to play docked anyways. Now some people might have enough TVs and maybe they want to play on their TV to at the same time as somebody else, so maybe you want to buy another Switch, but a lot of people would just want to sit on the couch next to their family members and kind of share their experience as they're playing their single player games at the same time. So a cheaper $200 model that only plays on the go, well that's a perfect use case scenario for that. So in summary, I do think that there is still a market for this system and a significant one at that, but I still haven't really answered the question I posed. Do I think that the Switch Lite is going to succeed? Well, first off, it's hard to define what kind of sales numbers is required in order to consider the Switch Lite a success at market. For Nintendo, that could be 1 million sales, it could be 2 million, it could be 5 million. We don't really know internally what Nintendo needs this to sell in order to make a profit or what Nintendo is hoping this is going to sell. We're not really sure. It's hard to define success when success is such a vague term. Is this going to make the Switch's sales boost to astronomically higher numbers than it currently is? Probably not, but will this be a good boost for their holiday sales, sell a few million units and make them a bit of money? I definitely think that will be the case. So I'm going to predict that the Switch Lite throughout the holiday, so from its release in September to around December or so, I think it will probably sell 2-3 to three million units, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but I'm going to predict 2-3 to three million. Is that something that is absolutely mind-blowing and crazy and just taking over the world? No, but I do think that that would make Nintendo money and it would bring in a good amount of people into the Nintendo Switch family, and I think it would be make it a worthy addition of the Switch. But that's just what I think, guys. The point of this video wasn't to answer it definitively, it was more to pose the question and to pose some evidence to and against my points. So a big part of this video is actually getting to hear what all you guys think, so make sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think the Switch Lite will be a success and why or why not? But also guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell icon for notifications of all my videos. Also share this video with everyone you know who is interested in the Nintendo Switch Lite and other things Nintendo. And I'll see all you awesome people later on What About Nintendo. Bye!